Hi everyone, can you hear me? <laughs> Hang on, we're going to need to fix one thing first. Okay, we're back. No, we're not. Hang on one second. All right. So it, we're having a little sound difficulties, but hopefully it's okay over there. Yeah, we're trying to fix the echo. But first, let me introduce the team. My name's Kayla Leckler, and I'm one of the NCOS program managers. And we also have Alicia Batteroni Cortez. She's our other manager. We have Deb Durham. She's our activity coordinator. And we have Kathy, <laughs> and she is the education intern for this semester. So I'm going to give them a chance to get back and situated and fix the, the speaker problem, and then I'll be back in just a second. Hello? Okay, I think we fixed the echo problem now. So we're going to go through some of our meet and greet stuff. So we're really excited for those of you that were able to join us today. And we hope that you guys are getting excited about your experience. It's less than a week away. You guys will be here next Wednesday. So we really can't wait. We've been planning for a couple of weeks now getting ready for you. And um, we're going to tell you a little bit about your time here so that you guys know what to expect with your travel. So just to get you guys on the same page, we, our expectations for you all, um, it's going to be a lot of work when you guys get here. It's going to be really long days. You'll see the agenda later on in this presentation. You're going to be using your brains a lot, doing a lot of hard work, but it's also super fun. And so we hope that you guys are going to be able to put in all that hard work and realize that it's going to be a big payoff in the end. And even though you'll be tired at the end of each day, it's well worth it, and so make sure you guys get rest up this weekend and ready for next week. So here's some information for your first day when you get here. You'll all be staying at the Spring Hill Suites, which is right down the road from JSC, and the address is there for those of you that are driving. Um, you should be able to get there, and we'll talk more about for the drivers and flyers details. Um, and if the drivers, you guys can get there by 1.30, we're all going to kind of meet and get together there so that we can talk to you guys about some stuff before we get started. And you guys will have lunch there. We're going to do some boxed lunches there when you arrive, so you don't have to worry about eating before you get there. Um, but most of the time that you're here, we're going to be working at the ISS conference facility. It's one of our newer facilities here, and so they have a lot of different breakout rooms where we can do some presentations. You guys can work in your teams. You can do your competitions. There will be a headquarters area. There's a lot of cool stuff in that building, so hopefully you guys will enjoy working there. You don't, the address is there so that you guys are aware of it, but we'll be driving you back and forth from there every day, so you won't have to actually figure out how to get there. And I'm just being reminded that all of this information will be in your agenda that you've been emailed so you can download it and you'll have it with you when you're traveling. All right, so for those of you driving, now is your time to pay attention. Um, we will be able to reimburse you if you drive more than 75 miles. And so you need to make sure that you check your odometer before you leave your house. As you are pulling out of the driveway, make sure you write down that number because we won't be able to reimburse you if we don't have accurate numbers for that. So you just need to keep track of that. Then when you get here, track it again. You won't drive at all while you're here. Um, as it says in the bottom bullet, you are required to use the transportation that we provide. We'll have two buses for everyone. Um, so really it should just be from your house to here and from here back to your house. And we'll be able to work with you to figure out or to give you more details of how you get that reimbursement. Make sure if you're driving around in this area, most of you are probably from Houston anyway and you know that the traffic can be horrible around this area. So make sure you leave yourself a little bit extra time to get here so that you are ready to go at 1.30. We have a really tight, <laughs> as Nelson pointed out, it can be very hard. <laughs> so, um, and our agenda is really tight, so please try to leave yourself that extra time so that you are getting to the hotel at 1.30. 
you'll be able to park your car there for free and leave it overnight so you won't have to worry about it at all once you get here. So drivers are pretty easy, but for you flyers, I know there's probably some of you who may have never flown before. Um, if you haven't, you should write a little note down in the corner so that we can see. <laughs> so that I'm just laughing at these little notes. Um, so that we can, if you need any extra, you know, I, I don't know. It, what am I trying to read? Reassurance. Yeah, reassurance. <laughs> um, getting ready to fly. Feel free to email or call any of us. We understand that it could be a lot to, to take on. But here are some things to help ease your mind. So your e-ticket should have already been emailed to you um, yesterday. It should be in your inbox. So please let us know if you have not gotten that. Um, double check when, as soon as you're looking at that, that it, your name on your government issued ID that you will be using for your travel matches that e-ticket. If it does not, we need to make a change. So please let us know so that we can get that worked out so that you will be able to get on the plane and through security. Um, for most of your flights, you should be able to check in early online. So if you want to look up with your confirmation number through your e-ticket, you should be able to go online and check in. If not, feel free to check in once you get there. That's fine, too. Um, and the same thing goes for reimbursement for you guys. If you're flying for, or I'm sorry, if you're driving more than 75 miles to get to the airport, we can reimburse for that mileage, as well as parking at the airport. I know that that can get expensive, so keep your receipts from all of that, and we should we will be able to reimburse you. And I believe you can also get reimbursed for one checked bag. Yeah, um, one checked bag as long as it's fifty dollars or under. So make sure again to keep all of your receipts. All right. So once you get here. Um, getting off the plane, you need to make your way to baggage claim. If you do, if you did check a bag, go and find your bag. And we will actually have, um, I'll look at your questions in just a second. And Alicia is also going to be typing in answers to the chat box. Um, but Deb is going to be the one that will be meeting you guys at the airport. So she's going to have this little um, fan that has the NASA logo on it pretty much just like the one that's in the picture or on the slide. And she'll be holding that up so you guys will be able to find her. If you get there early and you don't see her yet, find each other. Hobby is not a very big airport, so you guys should all be in the same area. There's about 14 of you, I think. So mm -hmm. just oh. yeah, 14 at Hobby. Yeah, 14 of you coming in there. Um, and I know some of you are flying into IAH, so that might be a little bit different. You'll be looking for Richard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and he'll be driving a minivan. We'll also make sure that, um, and he'll be with someone named Kelly. We'll make sure that they have a NASA sign as well. So you'll just look for them. And they have all of your flight information, so they'll know where to look. Uh, they'll know what terminal you're going to be coming in at, those types of things. We also have some contact information on the next page. So if you do need to call because you can't find someone, don't worry. We're not going to forget you. We have a list of everyone that's supposed to be here. We'll make sure that you get to the right place. Um, once all of the scholars get to the baggage claim, we'll be taking a bus from there, and you'll be coming back and meeting everyone else at the hotel. So um, just that last bullet, we'll be trying to check flight status on our end, but we might miss things. So if your flight does get delayed and you're worried about making a connection, if you might have a connection, or the travel agent is telling you you need to rebook. Any types of those questions, if you don't know the answer, again, call us so that we can help you get where you need to be. All right, move on to the next slide. Oh, now would probably be a good, I think there's one more post flight, one more thing about flyers. Oh, no. Okay, well, here's your contact information. So as you're looking at this, I can also start to take some questions. If you do have questions, you can either type them into the chat window at the bottom. Um, that might be the best way, actually, so that we can all, um, I'll read them off so that everyone can see them. But this is the information you guys need to make sure you have. And it's also on your agenda, like I had mentioned earlier. You can print that off and have it with you. But the cell phone number that's at the top, Deb will have that phone with her at the airport. So if anything comes up, you can call that number, and she will be able to help you get where you need to go. 
We also have the email inbox that you guys have been working with the whole time you were doing your online work. You can email that during business hours and we will be able to answer questions. And same with that, that number at the bottom. That's one of our desk numbers. So if you do need to get in touch with someone and ask a question and it's during work hours, use either of those two things. Yeah. Yeah, so as Alicia was pointing out, um, and I don't think you guys can hear her, so the bottom two things are mostly before you get here. If things come up with your travel, if you realize something isn't right or you need a question answered, use those two bottom contacts. The top one will really be for as soon as you leave your house and you start on your way here when you're in the hotel and then when you're leaving, that's the best number. We'll have that for our workshop. Are there any other questions at this time? I don't see any movement. It doesn't look like anyone's typing or raising their hand, so we're going to go on to the next slide. All right, so while you're here, we need to make sure that everyone is dressed appropriately. The ISS conference facility is a working building. A lot of meetings are held over there, so we want to make sure that we're wearing good, comfortable, or professional clothes, but you also need to make sure you're comfortable. You're going to be moving around, you're going to be sitting in chairs, you're going to be sitting on the ground doing work with your team, you're going to be doing a lot of different stuff, so make sure that you're comfortable. My other suggestion, and I think everyone would agree with this, is bring layers because our buildings can go anywhere from freezing cold to warm. You're going to be going inside, you're going to be staying, or you're going to be going outside sometimes. So just make sure you have those layers with you. Bring a sweatshirt, bring a jacket. Um, and whatever you want to put over your professional comfortable clothes. The other thing I want to point out is that you need to bring some type of college attire for our spirit day. On Thursday, the second day that you're here, it's going to be college spirit day. So you can wear college colors. You can wear a t-shirt from your school. You can bring a scarf. You can wear earrings. Really whatever you want to do. And it can be the school that you're currently attending or maybe one that you're aspiring to attend. So whatever you want to bring, but we want to really show that school spirit that day. So make sure you remember to pack it. At the bottom of this slide, we showed some examples for what you can bring. So for pants, things like nice jeans, so the darker wash ones that don't have holes in them. I know some people may think it's stylish, but not here for this. Um, you can bring khakis or slacks. Please make sure that um, you're you're not going to be wearing pants that will be falling down because, like I said, you will be moving a lot. And we have things, uh, don't bring the yoga pants or the spandex, all the, that stuff. And, again, all this is in your agenda, so please refer to that if you forget anything. For shirts, you can wear button-down or collared shirts, polo shirts, sweaters, blouses, or T-shirts that can be worn under a collared shirt or a jacket. Um, we would like you to avoid tank tops. If you're wearing a jacket over a tank top and that's part of the outfit, like a sweater, that should be okay, but you need to keep the sweater on all day. No low-cut tops um, or shirts with lettering and logos. And, yeah, except for your spirit day. So for your, you can wear college things. What we're trying to avoid with the lettering and logos are things um, from companies like for example, Nike or things like that. Try to avoid big logos like that so that we can use all of our pictures that we take. Um, for shoes, wear comfortable shoes. You are going to be moving around all day. You don't want to wear any open toe shoes, flip flop sandals, anything like that. If you do wear those, you won't be able to go in some of the buildings that we're going to take you. It is required to wear closed toed shoes. So I would recommend any of the things listed there. You have loafers, boots, flats, leather, casual shoes, or clean athletic shoes. Nothing that's really falling apart, but you can wear sneakers if you need them. Um, and if you guys have, remember to refer to your agenda when you're packing so you don't forget any of that. And if you have questions, let us know. All right, so some things to bring. For those of you that are flying, remembering your photo ID will be easy because you won't get on the plane without it. But for any of you that are driving, you need to make sure that you have your photo ID with you. It is required to get your badge to go into the ISS conference facility, and it's also required to come on site with us and we take some of our tours. So you have to have that with you while you're here. Um, you can bring cell phones, laptops, or other mobile devices. You can have them with you when we're working, but you are bringing them at your own risk, so just keep that in mind. Um, 
please bring some spending money. You're going to get some time at Space Center Houston, which is where we have one of the bigger gift shops here. It has a lot of great things. So when you're there, make sure you take some time to explore it. But you will need, need spending money for some of those gifts. Um, and then finally, just bring things that are going to make you comfortable while you're here. Make sure you have a water bottle, um, some chewing gum or mint tissues, lip balm, sunblock, hand lotion, sanitizer. We listed a whole bunch of things, but really if there's something that you want that you just use every day, make sure you have it with you. All right, so food. Food is a big one. We will be providing all meals and snacks while you're here and drinks. Um, that isn't water if you did bring your water bottle. We, oh, someone pointed out bring your camera. You should bring your camera. You can use it um, pretty much anywhere we're going. And if you can't, we'll let you know beforehand. Um, but to get back to food, so we will provide vegetarian options and options for allergies or religious observances. As long as, and we have that in the plans and already in works, if you provided it in your travel information forms. But if you realize right now as we're talking about this that you forgot to put it in that form, you need to email us ASAP. We have to get that in there so that we can start working with the vendors that we're using to get you the food that will work for you. Um, just to give you a kind of a, a sneak preview of what you'll be eating when you're here, breakfast will be provided at your hotel. You'll be eating it there every morning. But for lunch and dinners, we'll be having food brought in from Dickie's Barbecue. We'll, be ha we'll have food brought in from Bullritos, which is kind of like a Chipotle or a Moe's or a Freebirds, if you've heard of any of those. It's just um, burritos and different types of things like that. Um, we'll have Fuddruckers, which is a burger place, or they have chicken sandwiches, salads, those types of things. And then Jason's Deli will use twice. They have... Um, they'll do a boxed lunch, which will be a, some type of sandwich, probably chips and uh, maybe a drink and apples. I'm, I don't know exactly what's in the boxed lunch. We're still working through that. But again, if you see this list right now and you realize that there's something on there that you cannot eat or you're worried we might be serving you, and when I say allergies, I mean it needs to be a severe medical allergy, not just what your preference is for eating. You need to let us know so that we can make sure we're planning ahead. Do we have any questions about the food while you guys are here? If you guys can all give me a green check, it's in the, uh, it's over on the left hand side in the middle. If you scroll over the check box, you can click yes for a green check and I'll know that everyone's ready to move on. I'm seeing a couple. Yep, it looks like most of you are ready. So again, if you have questions, let us know. But we will move on to the next slide. And you guys can take your check marks off now. Um, so we're going to go quickly through the agenda. I'm not going to go through time by time. You'll get that when you're here. But as we talked about, the airport shuttle will leave the hotel or leave the airport around 12:45 from Hobby. Those of you coming from um, Intercontinental from Bush, it will be a little bit different, but you'll be leaving with Richard, and he'll make sure you're getting to the right place at the right time. You'll get to the hotel. We're going to store your luggage there. You may or may not be able to check in. It depends on what rooms are ready. Um, and we're going to head over to Space Center Houston after that. So you're going to get to do some tours there. You'll get to explore the Space Center. You'll get to do your shopping for any type of souvenirs that you may want. Um, and when you return from that, we're going to hang out at the hotel for the night. We're going to have dinner there. We're going to bring in two really great speakers, so I hope you're excited for that. The first one will be really high energy, and it's a fun one to listen to. And then your second one's going to be really inspirational, so I hope you guys take a lot out of that one. You're going to be tired by the end of this first day. Traveling always makes you tired, but please stick it out with us till the end. Um, you're going to really enjoy the speakers. Then you'll get to go back to your room around 8.40 that night, and we will get started again the next day. So at the next day, it's going to be an early one. For breakfast, you need to be downstairs eating at 7 a.m. We'll be leaving at 7.45. So you have that 45 minutes to kind of figure out what you want to eat and get on the bus. Um, we need you guys on the bus at 7.45, or we need to be leaving on the bus at 7.45. 
So please be considerate of everyone else that is around you, your teammates and the other teams and all of the coordinators. If you're not on that bus, it means it pushes back our entire agenda for the rest of the day. And as you can tell from this agenda, it's really jam-packed. So if we miss even just five minutes, it's going to start to to push everything else around. So please make sure that even if you have to call the hotel, they will call you in the morning to wake you up. So just make sure that you are on the bus at 7.45 a.m. Yeah, and um, be a good roommate. If your other roommate may have overslept their alarm or you can tell that they're just not ready to wake up, try to encourage them to get up because we want to be on that bus at 7.45. There shouldn't be anyone left in their rooms by themselves in that, that morning. Um, once you get to the ISS conference facility, we'll do some team building, some orientation. We'll introduce you to the project that you're going to be working on. You'll meet your mentors. Each team is assigned a mentor, so you'll get to start to talk to them. And you'll have a lot of team time that morning um, to start working on your project. We'll have lunch from Bolritos. It'll be brought to the ISS facility, so we, we don't even have to go anywhere that day. Um, following lunch, and probably during lunch, because you'll have your food, but we'll have a presenter come in while you guys are eating. They're going to talk to you about NASA internships, fellowships, and scholarships, some about the opportunities that we have, how to apply, what's the next steps, those types of things. Um, in the afternoon, you'll have more team time. It's a pretty big project, so you guys are going to want to get to work and keep yourselves organized through the whole time so that you'll be ready to present the next day. Uh, we're going, going to do a cool tour in one of our mock-up facilities, so I'm not going to get into too many details because it's going to be a fun surprise for you guys. Um, you, you will be learning about robotics, but you'll have to see what's in the building. Then we'll finish with dinner. We're going to go out to Fuddruckers that night, and we'll come back to the ISS facility after that for more team time. At the end of this day, you'll do your first rover competition, which you might not know what that means right now, but we'll do a good job of explaining it next, next week when you get here. And then at 9 p.m., you're going to take the shuttle back to the hotel. So that is a really long day. You're working from 7 in the morning to 9 at night, and we know that you're going to be tired. This is why I said in the beginning we realize it's a lot of work. You are going to be, I, don't, I mean, it's, just, it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be well worth it. So you really need to just power through the whole day. This is going to be your longest day, and the next day will be where everything comes together. So let's look at day three. Again, you start with breakfast in the morning. Uh, and just a reminder, day two, I didn't say you do need to wear your college spirit stuff that day. We'll, we will remind you um, when you get there, or on Wednesday night, we'll make sure to remind you. But back to day three. Um, so you're going to wear your team polo. You'll be getting those when you get here. Do not wear your team polo any other day except for Friday. Um, you get it on the first day, but you just need to, you might be getting it on the first day. <laughs> we're really crossing our fingers. Shipping works out. It's already on its way, though, so we, we're feeling good about it. Um, but just leave it in your room. You don't need to put it on for that first, uh, either the first or the second day. We'll head over to the ISS. Oh, a couple other things. So you will have to check out at the hotel that morning, and we will be able to store our luggage at the hotel to come pick up later. Uh, the bus will head. Will take you guys all over to the ISS conference facility. You'll have another great speaker to start your morning off, and then you'll have more team time. That team time is where you need to start to finalize all of your stuff because your rover competition, your second one, will start at 10 a.m. You need to turn in your budgets to headquarters by 11.15, and then that's when you're going to get started on your final presentation. You'll have lunch from there, and then we'll wrap it all up with a closing ceremony and some group photos. And then we'll make sure that everyone is where they need to be to catch their flights. We're not going to let any of you guys miss your flight, so we'll get you to the hotel to pick up your luggage and then off to the airport. For those of you that drove, you'll be able to go back and get your stuff from the hotel, and then you'll be able to take your cars from there to get home. So I think that that's all for the agenda. Um, this is another good time for questions. So if you do have any, uh, please type them in the box. And if you don't, please give me a, a green check so that we can continue. I'm seeing mostly green checks and no typing. Well, maybe some typing. So we will move on to the next slide. Oh, well, it's a question slide. So I was already jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> um, I think.
think that's all. Oh, no. Do we have more after this? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We still have a lot more. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been a long, a long couple weeks, but we're just so excited for you guys to get here. So to end this part, since it looks like we don't have – oh, wait, we do have a question. So drivers, will the hotel room as well? Um, yes, as Alicia pointed out. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to the next part of our orientation. We – all of your teams are listed on the bottom of this slide. And sorry, the blue kind of looks like a grayish black color. It's supposed to be navy. It's hard to find that. Um, while you – we're going to be able to move you each into breakout rooms. So we realize not all of your teams are here right now, but with whoever is in your rooms, you can start to discuss your team name, what your team logo can look like, and you want to create a team slogan. So the more that you can get done now, the better it will be for next week. You won't have to spend as much time on that, so you can really get started on working on your project. If – since people aren't here, you each have discussion boards. Each team has a discussion board set up in your course, so make sure you guys bring back whatever you talked about here into that discussion board so that everyone on your team can have a say and you can make a decision before you get here. I want to stress that that's really important. If the more of this stuff that you can get done before you get there next week, the better off you will be. The agenda is tight, like we've already said and we've been reiterating, so if you can get this stuff done now, it will really help you out. Um, so for those of you that did have questions about which teams you were on, this is your list. So we're going to take a few minutes on our end and start to put you into these teams so you'll be in your own little rooms in Blackboard and we'll be able to go in and out of each room to help you out with any questions or just to see what you guys are doing and the cool things that you're coming up with. So I'm going to turn off my mic and my video right now as we work through your teams. And you'll have 15 minutes to discuss in those breakout sessions. So good luck and have fun. All right, everyone, hey, that's you guys all hang on. <laughs> it's okay. We just have to fix the mic again. Okay. All right. So you guys did a good job in your breakout rooms. You were checking in and just seeing what you guys were doing. So if you make sure you post all any of the information that you want the rest of your team to see in the discussion board, they will be able to watch the first part of this uh, meet and greet, but they won't be able to see the breakout rooms in the recording. So you you will need to go in and paste any of your name ideas, logos, um, or slogans that you have so that your whole team can start to weigh in. So to wrap up, we have, I think this is the last slide, your reminders. Um, Make sure that you guys watch the NXT tutorial and take the quiz. It will be really helpful for you guys once you get here because you're going to jump right into using the LEGO Mindstorms. So if you have the tutorial under your belt, I'm sure that there's other ones online too if you want to search around so that you feel more comfortable. Um, and then the company book. Oh, there's also additional training resources that have been added to the course. So make sure you look at those too before you get here. There's two videos on there. Um, review your company handbook. That is also on the web, on, in the course. It will be in the course um, later today. So make sure you go and look at that. It has all the information about the project. We didn't really go into any details about that today, but we will once you get there. But the more that you're able to read into it um, before you get here, then the more it will help you. Oh, never mind. Um, if you're flying, make sure you print your e-ticket before you leave so that you're all ready to go once you get to the airport. You need to print and review the NCAS JSC Spring 2015 agenda, which will has already been sent to you. I think there's a color version and a printable version just so that you don't have to use up all your ink. But we did want to send you something pretty. Kat worked really hard on it. 
uh, we will be posting the printable version later for you guys to see in your course. And then make sure you complete the team assignment that we gave you today. Get that team name done, your logo, and your slogan before Wednesday. So get those discussion boards going so that everyone on your team is on the same page and you're ready to go. So I believe that's all of our slides. So if you guys do have any questions, I can hang out for one or two more minutes in the chat window. We'll also, you can also email the the email that we showed you earlier, the JSC or the NCAS one. Um, but yeah, that's all that we have for you today. And so we're really looking forward to next week. And it seems like from those of you that were able to come today, you guys are too. If you don't have any questions, you're free to go. You can just X out of the window. And we will see you next week. Uh, hello, may I ask a question? Uh, yes, uh, I was planning on going up to Houston Tuesday night and then maybe stopping at a, a Galveston uh, Air Museum. But uh, I heard the beaches are nice, but I can't seem to find the Air Museum. I didn't know if you all knew of any cool uh, museums around there. It doesn't look like you guys have any other questions, so I'm going to go ahead and close out the session. If you want to continue these conversations, like drivers or flyers, you can do that in your team. So we will see you guys next week.